Western Conference Finals. Houston won last night, led by Chris Paul's 41 points, and the Warriors eliminated the Pelicans to advance to the Conference Finals for the fourth straight year. Game one is Monday in Houston. Kyle Kuzma is still with us. Kyle, how do you see this series playing out? It's going to be a fun one. Um, no, I think this is a different Houston team than you know, we've seen before. Mm -hmm. you know, they have a lot of junkyard dogs now. You know, they have P.J. Tucker, they have Ariza, um, Bob Mute, Clint Capella is way improved. Um, James Harden is on a d different level. You know, usually in the playoffs, yep. you've seen a couple past years that, you know, around this time it gets a little iffy. But, um, you know, I, I think he's done a great job all season and uh, especially this playoff. So. so which way does it go? Go and say still. Go and yep. say, yeah. It's going to be tough. You know, they got Curry back. He's looking fresh. That's the biggest thing. He's fresh. He's fresh. You know, he hasn't played. How many games he played this year? You know? He missed, he missed, he missed the last month of the season. Last month of the season. That's that's a lot of rest. Yeah. You know, you, you've even seen it with Tristan Thompson, mm -hmm. you know, late in that series. But, um, you know, KD's on another level. Clay, you know, it's just it's going to be tough to get, to get them out. So what would you guess? Six games? Six. 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 Yeah. All right. So to what you and I said, we got yeah. you and I got five. You had two uh, had two games against Golden State, 27-25. Your, your career high is thirty eight against the uh, the Rockets. Uh, what challenges do the Rockets present for the Warriors? They're pretty much identical in a sense, and I think that's a, a challenge for the Warriors. You know, a lot of times the Warriors they beat people by going to their death lineup, mm -hmm. um, being small, being agile. But you know, Houston has the same thing. They put Bamute out there leave Clint out there if they use, you know, David West or JaVale, or they can just go completely small, put P.J. Tucker out there at the five. So, um, you know, that's the biggest challenge that presents. You know, they're, they're pretty much identical in a sense. So what happened in what I thought might have been your best overall game as a team at Houston? Do you remember yep. that game? Mm -hmm. That was impressive. Oh, yeah. Because it looked like, because didn't James go for 51. 51 in that game? Yeah, 14-game winning streak, too. Yeah, 14-game winning streak. Yep. Okay, what did you do to win that game? What was the secret to that? Well, the biggest thing with Houston is, you know, of course they're going to shoot a lot of threes, but, you know, you need to contain James. And, you know, he had 50 that game. But, you know, we, we made it hard down the stretch, and we made second-half adjustments by, you know, really just, you know, clogging up the paint and making him see bodies. Mm. A lot of time he isos from the top because that's the easiest place to iso on the court because there's no help. Mm. So, you know, with us, you know, we try to just pack the paint in, mm -hmm. make him see wide bodies, arms, and, you know, get out to those shooters. And Chris Paul did not hurt you in that game because he scored eight as opposed right. to last night when he had 20 in the fourth Sheesh. quarter. That was killer. Incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the – Problem I have with Houston is they play the flip side of basketball from Golden State. Golden State is a basketball team. This is an isolation show over right. here with these guys because mm -hmm. they go solo. It's your turn. It's my turn. Maybe it's his turn. Right. And if you look at the stats, in passes per game, Golden State's third in the league and Houston's 30th in the league. And just how many times you pass the ball. Right. Well, that's, that's One's a good basketball team. The other one... They, they better – somebody better be going solo where you can't stop that one guy on that night, right? right? No, for sure. And that's the, that's the thing that kills you with Golden State is that if they wanted to, they could ISO, but they play great team basketball. Mm -hmm. And especially in the playoffs, the game slows down. It's more half-court game. And, you know, it's hard defensively to guard them because they're mm -hmm. great cutters. They're great, you know, at sitting screens away, you know, hitting that flare mm -hmm. guy. Um, of course, they knock down timely shots. So, you know, it's going to be tough. Yep. So the Rockets are first in isolations in, in the whole NBA. Yep. And Golden State's all the way down at 20th. The Warriors are first in off ball screens, number one in the league. Mm -hmm. The Rockets are 30th. So you can just see they're the flip side of each other, even sure. though they both score at record levels. Mm -hmm. It's the best offensive matchup we've ever seen, mm -hmm. except they do it completely different. upside down different ways. Yeah. And I'll take the basketball way, I'll take the team way. Right. No, right? Definitely. I would take that too. But as you see, you know, in the regular season and playoffs, you know, Houston, have, they have done a great job of capitalizing from their isolation basketball. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see, you know, how that really turns out. So what did you guys do the two times you took Golden State to overtime? What was the secret to that? What worked? Um, for us, I think we were one. We had the best matchup with Golden State, you know, simply because we can match them, you know, with length, the same size, playing small ball doing a great job of, you know, coming together on their switches 
and really just trying to guard those guys straight up because, you know, it's tough once they get screening and slipping and stuff. But that's the problem that they present because you can never fall asleep. Yeah. Because they got four guys on the court. I mean, well, three guys on the court. That's probably three of the top ten shooters of all time. Right. So you're watching the ball, and then here comes somebody to pick you, and they throw the ball over your head, and the guy, Steph Curry, is flashing from 28. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Clay is flashing from 27. KD. So they have limitless range. Right. And you have to work. So it's hard to – and because one guy's not ball dominant, the ball is constantly moving. How do you like, okay – I got to make sure KD don't come down the lane, but I still got to worry about Clay and Steph. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's tough, man. You know, they have three all-stars, you know, high-level elite players. Four with Draymond. Four, yeah, four. That utility knife because he does it all. No, definitely, but as a, a scoring threat, yeah, yeah. to have those three guys on your team, it's just it's almost impossible. So who you did know? you mostly guard on the Warriors when you were on the floor? Uh, Draymond and KD. KD, yeah. you shut down KD, right? I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to. Hold you, on. Hey, you try to. Hey, he got to. He got to guard you too. Right. If you gonna get twenty seven KD, I'm gonna get me twenty seven mm. too. Hey, that's how it works. KD is long, man. He's Super really long. long. You see it from his block numbers, though. Yep. You know, improving. So, mm -hmm. but Bron got that fadeaway. And he brought. You yeah. saw Bron in game two with that mm. fadeaway. Yeah, like ten. Baby, that was stinking. Really? <laughs> Are we talking about the same LeBron who's shooting 29% from the three point line in the playoffs? He's shooting 29% from three, but he's shooting 70% uh, from the floor. Uh, so that average is 55%. Oh, uh, really? But that ain't, none of, that ain't none of our business, Kyle. Uh, really? How about Ooh. those free throws? You 72%. Like those? 72. That's not very good. See, he liked the nitpick. Huh. Because I ain't going to say Wait, nothing. wait. You know, KD. Got a sweet man. Dude. Wait, KD is 92%. Oh, wait. They did what? Got a sweet. They swept the number one seed? Mm -hmm. It's what it is. Uh -huh. A 59 win team. I know LeBron. Didn't you pick them in six? LeBron swept them. Yeah. You know, he swept Atlanta too, a 50 uh -huh. win team. Boy, you, had, took... you had no faith in your man. You gave that sorry Toronto team two games? Seriously? Did you, know, did you know LeBron and them beat a 73 and 9 team one uh -huh. time? Definitely. Uh -huh. It's going to be an interesting finals. Uh -huh. Definitely. <laughs> mm. I, I feel for LeBron. No, no, don't do that. Well, don't do don't that. you feel sorry for him? No, don't feel sorry. Don't, don't, don't feel sorry for that man that great. Huh? Well, he's looking at three and six. He's looking right down the barrel. Looking barrel-like. right down at four and five. Mm. Four and five, is that your prediction? The four and five. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the four and yeah. five. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Four and five. Is that your prediction? I'm going to hold you to whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, skip, huh? skip. We got Golden State at Houston, yeah. and, and and the Cavaliers are sitting back. You know, LeBron said he needs a couple of days off. Yeah. JR's going to hit on the golf course right now. So we're chilling. We'll wait the winner of the Celtics and the Sixers. That's what we're waiting for right now. I don't want to project. I don't, I don't like doing that. JR's on the golf course? Yeah, right now. That's not a good sign. Yes, it's a great sign. You really? Got to get some R&R. &R, yeah, right? got to get some. Yeah, Skip. Really? R &R. Did you see what he did at DeRozan? Yeah, I did. Locked him up. I, I don't want him still shooting shots in the gym, getting some shots No, 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 no. No, what JR got, he don't got to get no shots up. Really? Yeah, he a bad shot. I, I, I thought been... you were going to be a, a prisoner of the moment with JR. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. You, but he played good D, though. You're the guy. Even the, night, even the night he had zero points, he played great D on, on the road. Joy, watch. He'll be the guy who'll come in here next Wednesday just ripping and slashing on JR. Get him out of my sight. Put him at the end of the bench. I never want to see him again. No, I'm going to come here Monday. I told you I'm coming yeah. here Monday. Yeah. I'm coming to that land jersey on. Really? Three. Okay. Yep. Make sure I watch this. Uh, show. You should watch yeah. it. <laughs> Make sure I watch it. Who should win the Rookie of the Year award? Kyle answers that question next.